Hello guys, I'm coming to you today with another good video. Today we are making banana pudding. These ingredients so we can get into this recipe, okay? So we have Philadelphia cream cheese, one pack of Philadelphia cream cheese, one pack of Cool Whip, what's this? Condensed milk. This is one pack of instant um, pudding mix. I got the banana cream. You can also use the vanilla if that's what you want to do. You can make this your own. And guess what, guys? We are not using vanilla wafers. We are using chessmen cookies. And I have two cut up bananas here. You can use more bananas if you want to. We don't like bananas like that. Well, I'm not going to say we don't like bananas like that. We don't like a lot of bananas in our banana pudding. But if you want more, you can add more. It's up to you. Make this your own. And it's that easy, you guys. Okay, let's get started. I have the uh, KitchenAid here today. That's simply because I broke my hand mixer. Maybe that means I'm cooking too much. Okay, so we got the one box of pudding mix. And that is the 5.1 ounce box. And we're going to mix it with a cup and a half of just whole milk. I had that in the refrigerator, you guys. And so we want to stir this real well. We're going to set it to the side. Because guess what's going to happen to this instant pudding mix? It's going to thicken up. And then we're going to add it to the... um. Philadelphia cream cheese and a condensed milk mixture that and make sure you mix that good so you can get the bottom so no dry mixes at the bottom okay look at this I'm gonna have to get something to wipe it up so okay you guys so now we're gonna take this Philadelphia cream cheese and the condensed milk and put it in the kitchen. Okay, guys, we're going to slow this down to add the condensed milk. And just let it mix until it's incorporated well. Like so. Okay. So now we are going to stop this. And we are going to add our instant pudding to this. Okay, guys. Now we have our Pudding mix mixed into the cream cheese and the condensed milk. Now we are going to mix these together. And you see how nice and smooth the texture is? That's what you want. And that's it. Okay, you guys. I'm going down so I can fold in the Cool Whip. So we want to fold in this Cool Whip. We did not want to use it in the mixer because we want it to be nice and airy and fluffy. Okay. Put that to the side and we are going to just fold this in to our pudding mixture. Okay. And then when folding, you go all the way to the bottom and then pull it back up. You know, just folding it over. Like so. Just keep on folding until it's fully incorporated. And do you see how the texture changed? It's, it's, it's fluffier now. And that's what you want. A nice fluffy. I don't know if I should call this batter pudding, but anyway, it's nice and fluffy. Okay, you guys, now we are going to assemble the banana pudding. 
pudding. Okay, you guys, now we are assembling the banana pudding and I'm opening my chestnut cookies and to my surprise, they are broken. So, okay. So we are making two layers here, you guys. I guess it doesn't matter if the cookies are broken on the first um, layer. Just put them together like a jigsaw puzzle, I guess. So we are just making a layer of cookies and these are broken, but we are doing the best that we can with what we got. And we like more cookies than we do um, than we do bananas. So I guess this will work out perfectly because we can just put um, filling all the crevices and creases and blah 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 with cookies. So you know, don't fret. There you go. Okay, so I have two bananas. I'm going to do one banana per layer. Now, if you want more bananas, have it your way, like Burger King. But one is enough for us. Some people like a lot of bananas. Okay, you guys, so we have our first layer of cookies, our first layer of bananas down. Let me wipe my hands off. I have a paper towel back here. And then we're going to put our first layer of our pudding. So creamy. So basically, you want to split this in half. And there's nothing to this. This is so easy. And I swear... All my family and friends swear I spend a whole bunch of time in the kitchen making this. Because I'm always getting comments. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is so good. Make it again, make it again, make it again. Now you guys, y'all have the video. Y'all can make it yourself. <laughs> I'm saving a couple of the whole uh, cookies for the top. Just for a little decoration. Like I said, my cookies are all broken up, but it doesn't really make a difference in the inside. But on top, you know, brr, making a mess, making a mess. Look at this. A whole package of broken cookies. Must be nice. Must be nice to have broken cookies. Well, hopefully you don't get a bag, a bag of broken cookies and you can place them down there neatly and nice and pretty, but apparently mine don't wanna work like that. But do you see, I have a lot of cookies on my, like I said, I like a lot of cookies. If you want to do less cookies, more bananas, more bananas, less cookies, it's yours. I mean, add it. Take it away. Okay. Now we are adding the second banana. And just place them over the cookies. Okay. And I have to wipe my hands again. And then we are going to place the rest of the pudding on top. And that's it, guys. We are going to smooth this out. Put a couple cookies on top. Okay, let's move all this stuff out of our way. 
smooth this out. Mm -hmm. See, once the pudding covers the broken cookies, you really can't tell. Okay. Clean that up. Now, I saved a couple cookies for the top. So you just want to place some cookies around just for the top. And then I'll take one cookie and break, crumble it up on top. And that's it. This would need to be refrigerated for four to six hours prior to eating or overnight, which is always best. But when banana pudding is in the house, I doubt if it lasts 24 hours. So I recommend four to six hours just so everything can get nice and cold. Oh. And that's it, guys. So easy. Nice dessert for 4th of July is coming up this week. So this would be a nice dessert. It didn't take that long. I'm making a mess, you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell below to be notified when I post new videos. See you guys in the next video.